Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's working. Wait, let me do it. Um, hello? Apparently E-Boy isn't here today, and we were told to review a drawing rectangle... Tablet. Definitely. Tablet for them. <laughs> yes, Magpie, stop making me look stupid. It's called correcting you from zero IQ foolish fallacies. You're welcome. Also, aren't I supposed to be doing this part? Yup. Seems like Pie Pie is in charge of this first part. Amethyst, remember that talk we had about causing shenanigans and giving outlandish nicknames? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's fun. <clears throat> Today, we'll be reviewing the Zents Labs tablet. As the tablet requires Bluetooth, the pinnacle of artificial intelligence, it needs to be powered from time to time. This wondrous process of energy transfer is done through the sole assistance of very fine-looking metal malleabilities, also known as wires. They are confined to the center of non-conductors for welfare purposes. Impressive. Perhaps such contrivance can only be scrutinized by a proper dissection of the so-called cables. Yeah, that's enough oh. metal obsession for you today, Magpie. I'm taking over. So, uh, uh, at the front of the rectangle... Tablet. Right. At the center, you can find a whole... Charging port. You can connect the drawing rectangle... Tablet. ...with the picture rectangle... Laptop. I know! Stop being a nitpicker! Your usage of language concerns me. Did you know language appropriation is an indispensable knowledge to possess? I could literally hear you two fighting from a mile away. Oh yes, please keep fighting. No, go to the timeout <laughs> room, you two. We need to do this properly, Am. You should take over. Well, I suppose I can. I assure you, I take this very seriously. <gasps> Ooh, there's a button. Oh no. Three hours later. Boop. Bleep bloop. Boop. Amp. Amp. Beep, Damn, beep, beep, beep. you gotta break it. I think that's how you switch the tablet on. Okay, that was just for the bloopers. The tablet can be switched on and off by sliding this switch to the right. The green light by the button is an indication that the tablet is on. By sliding the switch again, you can unalive the tablet. This remote control here is called Quick Keys. It allows you to access to multiple shortcuts, basically saving you time from having to press around in your laptop. See? It even shows the corresponding function served by each button, a function that can be replaced by another of your liking in the driver, just like us. We live in a society, we will get replaced by someone better than us, we will die alone and rot in our graves six feet below. That's not a positive message you are sending to the viewers, Am. This is important, and we need to get it to perfection. After all, we can't disappoint E-Boy. Don't worry, I already did. Just take... Take a break. I'll take over. Okay, I shall take a break from the ads. Hey, I'm joining the timeout room, y'all! Well, apologies for my friends, everyone. I promise they aren't like this all the time. Anyways, the quick keys is composed of a power switch at the bottom. Eight press keys. Am already introduced their purpose. A OLED display which tells you the functions and a dial which allows you to switch between more functions. The quick keys can be turned on and off in the same way as the tablet. What you doing? Oh hey, didn't see you there, Delta. You came at the right time. Do you mind helping me with this tablet review? Where are the others? Aren't they gonna help? Well, they were acting a little bit erratic today, so they're in the timeout corner right now. <laughs> well, well, I can certainly try. I've seen E-Boy working with this tablet, so I may know a thing or two. As you can see, the tablet also comes with two pins, one thick and one thin, a dongle, which contributes to the tablet's Bluetooth properties, and a USB-C adapter for the dongle in case your computer lacks a USB port. I have no idea what the ring does, to be honest, but there are some nibs for the pin as well. Right! And don't forget about the driver. Go to support.zenixlabs.com and download the driver compatible with your device. You are free to customize the colors of LED lights on your tablet, as well as the function of each key on Quick Keys. It also shows you the battery percentage of your tablet in Quick Keys, so that you'll know when to recharge them. Oh! Also, it comes with a bag with fluffy interiors! Don't forget about that! Ooh, look at you! Who's the floopy boy? Who's the floopy boy? Right. It's pretty helpful if you ever want to bring the tablet outside. From the few times I've watched E-Boy working with this tablet, they don't seem to have any problems with it. It seems quite easy to use and 
Really beginner friendly. No technical problems and such. I think I'd recommend giving it a try, to be honest. What do you think, Hazel? Hazel? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello everyone, you boy here. I'm just gonna, you know, sneak in last minute to do like a, a announcement kind of thing. So this video would not be possible without my voice actors. Um, they are really pog people. Um, there, you should be able to see the credit lines on on screen right now. Um, about of like which person voiced which character, and other than that, also a huge thank you to Zen's Labs. Um, I just want to say that the product is, like, the, the, the model that I've received is very good. It's, it's very easy to use, it's super straightforward, everything is really easy to set up, and I just really like the different features on it, and yeah, definitely, like, definitely go and check out the website this is like not their only uh model there are definitely a lot more on there so um if you're in need of a drawing tablet feel free to check zen's labs out because it's just like in my opinion it's pretty good i i'd say i'd rate it um a 9 10 out of 10 yeah anyways um yeah, definitely. The website is linked in the description down below, so definitely go check it out. But but not before watching not not before watching this video though. After watching this video, please. I I need watch time. Okay. Okay, bye. Thank you.